Now let's head to Meg Shaw. Meg, because of this unemployment issue, people may be struggling to pay off their credit cards. Yeah, absolutely, Jesse. You know, people stress about money every single day. Millions of us do. And now a new survey says that people are also stressing about the virus just as much, wondering how they're going to pay their next bill. But I'm here this morning to ease some of your stress, if you have it, with some options uh, to help pay off some of those credit cards. Uh, that survey that I mentioned uh, says that 67 million Americans could be at risk for missing payments. So if you're in that situation this morning, the first thing you should do is don't worry. Banks understand what's going on and they want to help you. Several companies have announced they're going to start waiving fees while others say they're going to allow skipped payments. Now the assistance programs do vary though. So the best thing you can do is to reach out to your card company, explain your situation and see what can be done. Most of the companies I looked at like Chase, Bank of America, Capital One and American Express say it's a case by case basis. So they're working with people on solutions that work for their fi uh, fi financial financial situation rather than a one size fits all for their customer base. Now some additional uh, advice from a financial expert says if you have an emergency savings account, now may be the time to use some of those funds in the short term. Also, if you do qualify for a 0% interest balance transfer on a card, look into that as well because if you are skipping some of your credit card payments, transferring that balance could help with any uh, interest that might accrue while you're skipping these payments. So we'll have some of these uh, pieces of advice for you available on our News 5 app if you don't remember all of them just now this morning. Reporting live, Meg Shaw, News 5.